I'm gonna use this cute fabric. <laughs> Pretty uh, towel for the kitchen. So a couple of years ago, I found this really cute fabric and I bought a 10 inch um, by width of fabric piece of it and these other coordinating colors. And I've just been, sorry, looking, waiting for the right project to make. I've always had in mind doing like a kitchen towel. So this is gonna be a super, easy last minute gift or a short gift if you even need a gift housewarming um people are coming over we need something a little nicer at the table whatever you want but i'm going to use this cute fabric in addition to your towels and your cotton fabric you're going to need something like this this is a uh, stainless seam this is double sided that's lightweight so it's going to help and if you would like to accessorize you can add rick rack and um other things that you want this, this came in a sheet this is by the warm company guys i'm going to turn this so it faces me but hopefully it makes sense for you i'm going to go to this black fabric so what i want to do obviously i'm going to change the size but have a cute little band like this Oh dear. Minus all the strings that runs along the bottom here. And I guess this fabric actually has more of a direction than I thought it did. There we go. And then I'm going to just do that. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to, you just need a little bit to be able to wrap around the sides. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you do a top stitch. But between that, you're going to fuse it down. And I've just walked you through all the steps. So let me now show you how to do this. I like this width. I'm thinking I'm going to uh, make four out of each of these. Just cut them into nice equal sizes. There'll be a little bit of a an edge for the seam to tuck in, but that will make these probably four inches because it was 10 to start out with. And that's a nice little size. Um, nice. Yeah. Hmm. Can't speak. All right. Um, let's press this one. And then we're going to cut it. These, I really think you can get these out really fast. Use these anytime year round. Neighbor gifts. This is a great neighbor gift where you really didn't spend a whole lot of time on it, but it's nice. Most people will appreciate it. Okay, I'm just folding that in half. That, I'm gonna leave it for a minute, let it cool. Okay, so the nice thing about this is the paper's still on here and it's a little stiff. So folding this over to get a crease um, would work. You can steam it. Um, yeah, never mind. We're gonna just fold it over and give it a little crease. You'll appreciate it. Doesn't need to be a lot because you're just enough for you to tell where it is. Okay. 
And I still have not taken this off yet, so this is not going to stick to that. Our spacing from the bottom to be the same all the way across so like right now just laying it on there or sitting it there not so good whatever it is you pick have it be the same and I like how this looks to you two inches so I'm just gonna kind of leave it unless it's not straight Actually, I can do this way, huh? Two inches, bring everybody down to here. Now I'm only going to press in the middle. I'm not going to worry about the end yet because I haven't quite figured out what to do. I wanted to wrap it around the back. I, I really don't have enough fabric to do that and keep it nice and clean. So right now what I'm thinking is it's going to be like this where it's just close to the very edge. But I'm going to um, deal with that in a little bit. I'm going to deal with this first. Good. It's so nice to have that um, steam steam in there because it keeps it nice and crisp, but it also gives you an, a, like a, a real edge when you're dealing with your seams up here. Your Okay, so now I'm going to see. No, this doesn't have any stick on it. But if I can press it, it'll get the uh, memory of what I want the fabric to do. So when I go with my sewing machine, I top stitch, it'll it'll be fine. My goal is to do a, a tiny little top stitch down the side of here. And my my steam seam ends about right here. You might be able to get yours to go farther. This actually is working. But wow, we don't have a whole lot of extra. Ideally, again, I was planning on wrapping it around the back and then rolling it under just like the edges of this. And that's not going to happen, but we're going to make sure that this is really secure. Okay, so even though... I need that to have a good strong press. Before I go to the sewing machine, I'm going to look in my box of rickrack. 
see if I have anything I want to add. Of course, I've got other junk in here, too. I think this is pretty right how it is, but let's see if I could do something like pop a yellow. Even this pink. really pretty by itself it's really striking but I'm I can't help myself would that be cute and then here I can take the Rick Rack and I can actually wrap it around the back isn't that adorable <laughs> um, the yellow, not what I'm in for at the moment. Let's see. Let's see, and I even have some bigger pieces of rig rack. Oh, I would not recommend using that because it's not big enough to go around, but just the look of it is cute. I don't know why I want this pink on here. I don't have pink in my kitchen. I don't know anyone who does as a gift or anyone who wants it. I should just leave it alone because that right there is really striking. This is a little bias tape. This could be used either going on at straight like that, or I'm thinking pressing it in half so that it ends up being like a little teeny tiny, like a binding, and then it would wrap around the fabric and then you won't have that second edge. I'm actually liking that idea. I know that's weird. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this style on at least one of these. And I want it to be longer. them in sets. And I'm actually thinking of only putting it on one side. I don't know. Let's see. This is where you just play with it. Embellish it. So if I were to put it on both sides, it'd look like this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That just changed the whole look of it, didn't it? See, it's still clean and striking without being, and feminine with the pink, but without being girly and fluffy. That's pretty. Um, not a lot of options left for that. I... 
yeah there's enough see the inner facing is steam seam is, is wrapped up inside that fold so there's I can still lift this and put something around it like that but you want to make sure it's really straight because this is so tiny you will notice if you're off Here's some other towels I picked up. This is from the dollar store. This is like a microfiber. Um, I'm gonna try it on here. I don't know if I'm gonna love it. This is a better quality towel. This is from uh, Tuesday morning. So any of those home goods stores, um, like Home Goods, um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, even, and Tuesday morning, those five stores. Oh, and and uh, um. CR Trading Post. Those six stores specifically have very similar types of inventory and I like what I find in there. So anyway, that's what this is. This has got a little bit of the terry on the back, but it's not um, terry on the front. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's got more of a flat front than terry back. So it is 100% cotton. Um, just depends on, I guess, their processing. Uh, how do they tell the difference? Oh, this is polyester. Uh, that's why. Anyway, I'm gonna put something. I don't know. <laughs> this is also from the dollar store. Polyester, polyester, I don't even want to try these. I don't even want it. So these are some of the ones I picked up. These are pretty sets. I like, I like these actually. But I don't know if it's gonna work with what I have to work with. And I did like this set. And it has three in it. And this is that same or similar type of towel. So it's actually a, like a terry towel, or these are not. So I think I'm going to do something on this set, maybe with, I don't know, the white of that. For this one, because I'm using white thread, I'm not going to start on or off 
of the fabric because the fabric is white it blends in best um, but this fabric is not as wide as the white ones and I was able to take the fabric around the back and fold it up and my goal is to top stitch um, on the top <laughs> over here so I'm not going to go that close to the edge I'm going to go far enough out that I'm catching the edge of this I hope that made sense And then it will be enclosed and uh, this is ideal <laughs> if you can. <laughs> if you can't, you can't. towels okay let's look at these towels up close so here's the edge and the back side look how nice I think it it looks really nice when you can wrap it around. <laughs> so there's that one. And then we have two of these. Same thing, this one's wrapped around. And this is part of that set of three with the two plaid. So there's that waffle print to it. See, it's just nice and clean. You just go right on the very, very edge. And if you want, you could go down and do another stitch. I just chose to just do that. And right now the steam seam is keeping everything really flat. Okay, and then we have these ones, which are more kind of like a, I guess the waiter towel. <laughs> They're very big, um, 30 by 40, 20 by 30. Anyway, um, little, Pretty now this is the one that I barely had enough to get to the edge, so I just folded it over right at the edge. And tucked it under. Each one of these came from one 20 by width of fabric, piece of fabric, where I cut into four equal sizes of five inches by 20, or 21, 22, whatever I could get when I cut it in half after the salvage. And then um, for four inches of interfacing fused to the back of this, the, and centered, the, these, this part folded over and pressed on, and then a top stitch. The difference was how I had to do the finishing stitch um, wrapping around the edge. On this one, the towels were so wide, I barely got to the end. 
So I just finished it right there. Tucked it under, made sure it was nice and flat. It's really hard to tell. And then with the normal towel that was a little longer, I actually had to trim some of this fabric away, <laughs> but I had enough to wrap it around and tuck it under itself. Then I, I kept it similar to the band that was already going around it. And there you have it. That's how you make a kitchen towel. You can embellish it. You can put buttons on it. You can do rick rack. I, I just chose to keep these simple, but at this point you can play with them and dress them up. And that's it for today. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.